All right, guys, all my followers, everybody out there, all everybody from YouTube. Um, this uh, video today is going to be uh, possibly uh, a little bit more informative than anything else, but um, I decided to do it just in case someone comes uh, uh, across this same problem. So this uh, car came to me because uh, a towel bar has been fitted. And this was a uh, this was um, as uh, an original, I believe, or I've been told, an original uh, Vauxhall uh, towel bar. And the car in question, as you can probably see already, is a Vauxhall Vectra, and this is a 2007 model. So the car came to me because uh, <coughs> the towel bar was fitted. And uh, although the job is already finished, so I'm not going to show you all the loose wires or anything like that. But uh, so the tow bar was fitted, and the car came uh, with this uh, plug like this, which is the tow bar plug. So what they did obviously was they plug this in in the rack module, goes in there, and nothing worked. So that, that, that's why they brought the car. So, um, I'm going to explain you uh, what would be the right way to do this. And then I'm going to show you the way I've done it. And the way I've done it, I'm not going to say is, is... Yeah, it's not the correct way. But uh, the only reason I've done it is because the owner of the car, um, apparently, uh, didn't want to spend the money. So but basically, long story short, uh, as soon as I got the car, I said, look, obviously this will not work because you need the trailer module. The trailer module is a module that goes here. And you can see these two tabs, one here, there's another one here. So it's a rectangular module that plugs in here. Um, the module second hand is about 50 quid, 50 pounds. Um, 50 60 pounds so he didn't want to spend that money and uh, apparently this is to only use one of those really little uh, trailers and uh, nothing that's gonna use a lot of power uh, but um, they have been asked if I could connect this the old way uh, connect the strain to the the other wires so I, I've done it but um, before I show you how I did it I want to quick explain you how the trailer module works. So basically the trailer module goes in here and gets power from these pins. Um, I can't remember which ones are now, but uh, it gets power from here. Gets the information from the rec module. So when you press the brake lights, obviously through the CAN network, this module gets the signal, the brake lights have been pressed and he powers the circuit to the rear lights, to the brake lights. At the same time, this module, when, when uh, uh, um, fitted, gets the same information and sends, and he powers back one of these pins here, which in turn, when I have done my investigation, comes straight into these pins here. So I know that the brake mo the brake pin is the first one here on the plug. So it's going to be this one here, this black. Sorry guys, it's going to be this first pin here, right at the top, is the brake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my multimeter in there. Uh, I'm going to put my multimeter in there, on the first pin, I'm going to look for the pin in here, I know it's the last one, so it's one, two, three, four. it's going to be this one here, and watch, okay, the last pin, the, the last two pins are now used on this plug, the following one 
which I believe is the left side turn signal, is that one in there. Then you go up, is the second one, up, third one, then you have the fourth, which is number four, then the fifth, you have two empties here, which in reality they are ground, and then you have the next one, and then the last two is the last two. So the reason why I've showed you this is just to show you these here, these pins here on the left, are straight connections from here to where the rack module is supposed to be. So the rack module powers this circuit one by one, depending on what is being connected. Tail lights, fog lights, uh, turn signals, so it sends current through, through one of these pins here, and that powers straight to here which in turn powers the trailer plug in the back. That, obviously, is for the voltage. The ground, when I got this cable, uh, the ground was cut at the back somewhere, and you have this red wire here, was put in here. On the right you have two pins. One is ground, the top one, and the second one is power. This power comes straight from this fuse, F13, which I believe they put the fuse in just to see if that would work, but that doesn't power the lights. It is a straight power into this pin. I'm not going to even take the fuse out because that is not going to use. So what I've done is, because I didn't have any more of these uh, contacts here, and any more of these uh, uh, pins here, what I've done is I moved the power from here to where the ground is and I'm taking the ground to the trailer plug at the back through here so rather than connect that one the ground into the chassis or something like that I'm actually use everything from the plug okay and so this is a brief explanation how the module works so what I've done to connect this trailer uh, this towing bar um, the old fashion is <coughs> I have so this connects right to there that's the original system and what I've done is what I have here is is a plug that I've made myself using you probably recognize this using a OBD 16 plug I believe this was from an old uh, Vox uh, Navox uh, Opcom cable, if I'm not mistaken, or from a Vauxhall. I can't remember where I took this from, but basically this is an old OBD16 plug. I remove that side pins because the pitch is slightly different, so I, the pitch, the, the spacing. So I had to remove the pins on that side. I left all these pins here. Okay, and I've added one more right there at the, at the last at the end. Okay, uh, I've cut the ends of it, so I left this open. And from here, from each of these pins, except the two that we saw they were blank, there's a wire that comes back, comes out there, and it goes down, goes down, and it's going to get power from these different places. So what I've done is, using uh, Opcom, I would just activating the the circuits one by one so I've activated for example the brake and I've looked here which one was the brake light so I knew was for example I can see in there actually that is a uh, black and yellow I know because I measure it but the black and yellow for example is for the brakes but anyway when I follow it back is one of these here at the, at the bottom see black and yellow over there so basically what I've done is I didn't cut the wires of the the car loom, all I do is using one of those strip tools. Let me show you which one I'm talking about. So using one of these tools, I don't cut the wires. All I do is I just get to the circuit I want. So I've looked for the brake uh, light wire, which is somewhere here. Then you have. Uh, I can't remember now guys, but you're gonna have to follow the circuits. Uh, there's another one that comes from here. Then you have 
uh, fog lights that comes you can see in there. This one that goes here, that goes into that plug in there, uh, is for the fog light and something else. Then you have the turn signals that comes from somewhere here as well. I can't remember all of them, guys, because obviously it's all uh, covered in tape now as well. But um, so yeah, I follow the circuit and I, I got the wire, and all I do is I do this to the wire. That's it. By doing this, I split the insulation and I just twist, I just roll the, 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 the wire around this one and put tape on top. That way I don't make nothing permanent and, and I, I'm not really disturbing, um, as I said, the original car loom. So basically if I ever ever want to get rid of this, all I have to do really is unwrap the tape, take it off, Job done. So, but yeah, but continue with this. So, what I've done is so this plug, there's wires that goes onto the original uh, car loom using this method, taking the current, and then you plug this in there. Job done. So, basically, what is happening is the current is coming through here into this plug. Okay, and this is, is taking the voltage from the other circuits, comes through here, goes into the correct pin, which in turn goes inside the rack, comes back through the original plug, and goes into the tower bar. This way, guys, I have preserved everything um, original of the car, so the tower bar plug still the original. I haven't touched that. The car loom has not been greatly messed about. Uh, so everything still, you know, uh, pretty much the same. And if for any reason I want to um, plug in the original module, the trailer module, all I have to do is take these off. I don't even need to cut these out. All I need to do is tip it off and put it somewhere in there. Put the trailer module and everything should work as original but for the time being it's working old-fashioned connected to the to the each circuit of the tail lights brake lights and all that so that's how I did it um, I, if you are watching this video one of the two or you are my follower or second you are looking for some information about trailer modules connections and possibly on a voxel and for your information the correct way to do it is get the module and get the module uh, programmed because uh, you might need to do that as well uh, it might be that is a plug and play depends on the software how the car was was coded at the factory it might be that is a plug and play so we just plug that in Plug the, the trailer module, plug the, 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 the module, the plug, plug the trailer module, and off you go. Or it might be that you actually need to plug all these in and then um, get hold of uh, the car spin code because you need the car pin code for that. Get hold of it and uh, just code the car. So you're going to have to tell the rec module, this big module, that this module is fitted. So this module then communicates with this one. Uh, you possibly gonna need the to go into the body PCM body control module, and also tell them that there is a, a trailer module fitted. Um, and I don't know if there's gonna be any other module uh, concerned about it, but I believe those two modules will do uh, possibly. So it will be the BCM, the REC, and maybe the Underwood. But I don't think you maybe need that one. So yeah, guys, I really hope um, I really hope you get to learn something with this video. I hope it's been informative, I hope you enjoy it, any questions put them below, and like always, thank you for watching.